to another Eroquin Caledron video. I'm Atar. And I'm Estenes. And we are on our way back to RM3D Studios. We're going to take a look at how Mark Chabot from RM has figured out how to do his 3D printing. The Kickstarter is really exciting. But for those of us who are new to 3D printing, it's new to me still, he shows us how this works and he has convinced me that this is actually pretty easy to do. He's really good at it. Not everybody's going to immediately be as good at it as he, he put a ton of hours into the work he's done. But this Kickstarter he's working on is a huge jump for anyone who's interested in this. He has really worked hard to make sure that the models that he's printing are easy to print well and that they don't take a lot of extra work and that they're ready to paint. You don't have to sand them down or fix it. So we're going to go visit him. He's going to explain that and we're going to see him in a couple of minutes here. Anything else we need to remember before we go see Mark? Uh, not really. I think the video is going to be self-explanatory. Should be. The last video we did, you can link back to that one. We'll introduce you to Mark and why he went to 3D printing. He's got a really good reason. And he's, I mean, he used to work for Games Workshop. He knows how to make good terrain. Oh, and yeah. he has some good reasons why he now does 3D printing. Still can make lots of good stuff by hand, but in this video, he'll show us how. In the last video, it tells you a bit more about why and where his studio came from, all good stuff like that. Let's go see his printers. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna take just a couple of minutes and talk about where do you start, start, start. At the very, very beginning, if you're interested in 3D printing and you're not really sure and you love these pictures and you're excited about this Kickstarter and all the work that Mark has done, where do you start? So the very beginning, this is the Ender 3, right? Yeah. Ender 3 is a great place to start, really easy entry printer, um, just a great price overall, but I think it's about $300 right now, new. Uh, lots of people, people in Canada carry it, so really easy access if you're in Canada. And lots if of different you, stores you can find it at. You lots of different places. Amazon. Amazon's got it too. Uh, free shipping, I think, actually, even on Amazon. Yep. So lots of places. Um, great little printer. Uh, you've got a fairly big bed, um, about 22 centimeters by about 22 centimeters. So here's the print bed. All of the files in my Kickstarter actually will fit on that print bed, so that's kind of important. Yeah. So there's less work for you if you have a bed well, that's big enough. And maybe we'll talk just briefly about that. If you look at some of these model pieces, like this piece, these are not all one file. There's a, there's a group of files to be able yeah. to get all so these actually, pieces yeah, put so together. Take a look at the bridge, actually. The bridge comes in all different yeah. sections that you can put together and you can assemble. You can glue them together. You can even add magnets if you really want magnets to go in there. And then they would just but, all clip on the bed. But each section would print on the under bed. And you yeah. can fit each one of those will fit on this bed on the under. Um, but that's why they come in separate files, so that you can print each piece one at a time. Right? Sure. Yeah, and it takes less time. So in case something happens at home and the print's not able to finish, you haven't lost three days, four days of printing. Right. It's only lost a few hours. Yeah, so maybe tell us, Mark, how many hours would some of these things print? Sure. Like, we'll start with a small one. What's this take? Uh, so a small one usually takes about 15 to 20 hours, um, which kind of turns some people off. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so long. But you've got to remember that's 15 hours of you doing nothing for it. Yep. You so plug it in and let it go. Like I plug it in the morning, every morning before work, I usually get my printers going. I set it and then I come home usually later at night and it's already finished. And I haven't put any work into it. I just hit play. So then if we take a look at some of these pieces, how would, these these would each print independently? They're they all, all print independently. Or you could actually fill up the whole printer bed and print them all at once. Okay. So it's your choice. Yep. So if you wanted to print some statues and some ruins at once, and even the fort, you could probably put them all on at once and leave it if you wanted to leave it for a day or a day and a half or yep. two days. If you wanted something really quick, like the statue, the statue at a really high resolution will actually print in about five hours. Oops, I'm dropping yeah, your sorry, statue the, again. The painted ones are the ones that are glued together. So, so at a high resolution with the base, it'll print in about five hours. So, so these two things together, it's about yep. five hours of printing. Yep. That's what it looks like when it's painted again. So that, I mean, that's all it takes then. Okay. Yep. And let's talk about cost really briefly. In terms of it's a, your, your PLA filament that you've got on the printer, so you buy it in rolls, and you buy it um, at different prices. Everybody's got different filaments, different a roll. prices. That's a roll right there. It comes in about a, a kilogram of PLA. So and it's make, just, it's just yes, wiry, ropey kind of stuff, and it's all just wound around the spool. Yeah. Um, puts that down into the machine, and it just uses that to print in just really fine beads, and it goes back and forth and back and forth, melts it, runs it really fine, so that you don't even see the lines on this. You can see the painted version of this. It's, it's fine. You don't see the lines at all. And there's no post-processing on that one either. It's just, I printed it, I painted it, I put it on the table. So no sanding, no resin, no nothing to fill in the cracks. I just put it on the table. So then I interrupted you though, that's statue. Yeah, so, so costs. Uh, you can get different filaments from different people. 
Um, I get all my filament from filaments.ca. Uh, they've got some fantastic prices. They've got in-house filament that they've designed themselves. So you can actually get them as low as, I believe, $16 a roll. $16 for a kilogram of scenery. Very good. Um, which for a kilogram. Yeah, and these for, are light. For a kilogram. And most of these things aren't solid. They're actually hollow. So they're pretty light. There's about 5-10% infill, which means that you get a lot of scenery out of a kilogram. So to give you an idea of cost, that was your question. Sorry, I got a yep, little, yep. little distracted there. No, it's good. Uh, I think a statue really cost me maybe 30 cents. So this is less than a dollar worth of filament right here. Yeah, to print the whole statue and the pedestal. Yep. Um, there's no piece of scenery on here that took a full roll. So nothing on this table start to finish costs over $15 of your own materials. Which is exceptionally exciting. Which, so, yeah, so the which bridge is crazy. Is this is a couple dollars worth of filament right there. So really, the, uh, the, the cost is in the time. If you, put a, yeah. if you put a dollar value on the time that you would spend building and printing these things, that's the cost. But in terms of raw material cost, it's very, very light. Yeah, and the hydro as well is... Electricity is yeah. going to be minor. Um, yeah, uh, we added three printers to the house. Uh, I've got three of them running almost 24 hours a day. I think it added $20 a month to my hydro bill, maybe. And you're getting a lot of use out of that then. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Any sort of quick tips on if somebody was going to be starting brand new, what do they need to keep in mind? This is a self, sorry, this is not a self-leveling printer. This is a printer you got to learn how to level. So there's yeah, so other YouTube videos that we will link to. Lots of YouTube videos, lots of help. Uh, things to keep in mind, if you get stuck on something, there's lots of great communities on Facebook. Yeah, ask and, a question somewhere. Yeah, there's tons of communities on Facebook. There's also tons of YouTube videos. Um, so if your fear is getting started with 3D printing, it, so many people can help. If you're really stuck, you can even message me and I can try and troubleshoot okay. you on those ones. So go ahead and get us started here. Yeah, so some so, of the important things I think we got to leave off with is that the Kickstarter is still running. Yeah. Um, way beyond my expectations. So thankful for everybody exciting. who's pledged. Uh, we hit our target in 10 minutes which is unheard of for a new company that's just starting out with our first Kickstarter. Uh, we unlocked all of phase one already, I think in the first day. Or... I think my favorite comment was, there's, I've forgotten the gentleman's name, but he was online and posted a comment about how you're gonna need a lot more unlockables on this. It was yeah. a really encouraging comment. So that was, that was pretty exciting. Um, never in my wildest dreams that I think we would get this far already. Yeah. And we're, I think, well, at the beginning of today even, I think we were already into phase two. And all of that will be on the RM Studio website after everything is done. With yeah, the yeah, we're gonna. And there's no website yet. We're still launching. That's yep. why we started yep. our Kickstarter. Um, we needed to get funds to do a website and design but it. If you're following on Facebook yep. and if you're following the Kickstarter, you'll get the updates and yeah. the notifications. Yeah, I post there. updates probably every day. I'm trying to slow down on the updates. Lots of updates. Lots of excitement. Um, actually, lots of announcements coming on Monday too. Very good. A bunch of different videos uh, that you're gonna see. And, very exciting. <laughs> so final thoughts. To get started, there yep. are videos you can find on YouTube to show you how to yep. use an Ender or a CR10. Ender is a good price point to get started with. That's it. It's the price point for 300 bucks. The Kickstarter will fill you up with lots of STL files. You'll have yep. lots of tools to work with. Um, so if you wanted to hack apart and sort of play with your own, this is an amazing start. Yep. Um, you can put magnets between things. You can glue them together. Yep. They come off the print bed ready to paint, so they're ready to go. You yep. No finishing. Um, no supports as well. No That's supports a big one. with them. Um, because yeah, a lot of 3D printing, you would expect something like this arch would have all kinds of supports filming. Yeah, and it's just wasted filming. Like yeah. Your materials are just going out the door to hold it up. But, but if you work with the Ender 3 with your files, yeah. then you're any, okay. Any printer. Okay. Any printer will do it. There are no supports in any of the files. They all print as is. They've been pre-cut um, by the designer, and they just go on the printer and you hit play. There's no editing of the files, no supports. Very good. They're good to go right out of the and, SDL. And the unlockables not designed yet will be the same. They're going to make yes. sure to do that. Um, I think it's really important for 3D printing that you don't need all of that extra kind yeah. of like tweaking with a file. Yeah. I personally feel like you should throw it into the computer, onto your printer, and it should be ready to go. It should do its, do its work for you. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're pretty excited about this. I'm hey, glad to be able to you do some videos with you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, Hopefully, I'm going to do some more content for you as well. Uh, you, talked about, you talked about painting and getting it onto the table. Yes. Um, I actually started out with painting. I love painting. Um, I can show you how to get one done pretty quick and on the table and looking good. And some little tips from him too. We'll, we'll talk about he's done some brick picking out here. He's done some really special detailing. Yeah. It's not hard to do if you know what you're doing, so he's going to yeah. teach us something. All brush. Yeah. Just need a big brush. That's Airbrushes it. are fun. He does airbrushing too. Yep. But I can do this. I'm excited. I can do this. So yep. thanks so much, Mark. Hey, thank we you guys for back. coming.
<laughs> and we'll talk to you again. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon. Welcome back. I'm so excited about this Kickstarter. I was one of his first backers. As soon as he told me the Kickstarter was up, I backed it and I was already number six. So somebody else, six other people, five other people beat me. Um, and now he's you know almost 100 backers and good, good following. Lots of people following his Facebook page. You should follow his Facebook page. Please like and subscribe to him um, and you'll get updates. He's going to do future Kickstarters. I'm sure of it. This one has been super successful, so there will be more. Um, but this Kickstarter is loaded. It's got a ton of Gondor terrain. Uh, you might want to do some video editing fun stuff here too and throw some pictures on. But he's got lots of great stuff already and the stretch goals are exciting. And any stretch goals he doesn't meet in this campaign, I think he's going to meet a lot of them. But any that he doesn't meet will be on his Facebook page later. So like and follow us and we will connect you to him. Like and follow him and he will be super happy about that. And uh, please join the Kickstarter. Hope you get as much fun out of this as we have had. Uh, these last couple of videos have been fun for us and we are enjoying playing with his terrain. He's got some great pictures of that terrain. We've shown you some in this video. You'll see more uh, later. And I think that's pretty much it, right? Uh, yes, that concludes our visit to the RM studio. So Smarty Pants here was hiding behind the camera. He's done all the editing to make sure you guys have some great pictures and some important web links where you know how to get into this Kickstarter and into um, Mark's page. So thanks for your work. And we will see you again soon. Michael Vannon. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.